The following are the objectives for today's lesson. Perform operations with sets. Also, you would be able to determine sets involving set operations from a Venn diagram. Understand the meaning of AND and OR and use the formula for N of A union B. Now, in performing set operations, some problems might involve more than one set operation. The set notation specifies the order in which we perform these operations. Always begin by performing any operations inside the parentheses. For instance, we have A union B inside a parenthesis, and then we have a prime outside. This notation here indicates complement, and this one indicates union. So here, we're going to perform first the one inside the parenthesis, meaning to say we have to get the union first. After we get the union, then we get its complement. So this is the universal set. This contains all the sets under consideration. This is set A, and it contains 1, 3, 7, and 9. And set B contains 3, 7, 8, and 10. To get the union, get the union of these two sets, you just have to gather or combine all the elements here to the elements here. We'll just have to list down 3 and 7 once. So we have 1, 3, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And after you have this union, you are going to get the complement. So to get the complement, you're just going to go back to universal set, compare the elements in the union to the universal set, and the complement will be the elements on the universal set that are not in here. And what are those? It's 2, and then 8 is here, 10 is here. So it will be 2, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So therefore, the complement will be the set of all elements 2, 4, 5, and 6. Now using the same given of information, we now want to find A complement intersection B complement. To do this, we have to find A complement first. A complement is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in A. And that is 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. Okay, the rest are in A. The next, we want to find B prime, the complement of B, elements in the universal set that you can find here. So outside of this one, so that would be one, and then two, three is in here, and then four, and then five, and then six, so seven is in here, we'll leave that one out, and then eight is in here, we'll leave that one out, 10 is also in here. So therefore, B complement is the set containing 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now, the intersection, intersection is common to both sets. So the common for this set here, okay, would be 2, 4, 5, and 6. So that is the intersection of the two sets. Now let's determine the following sets using the given Venn diagram here. So the universal set is this set here and it contains A and B. And then these are the different regions and these are the elements. Okay, so for region one, the elements are pi and E. Region two, it's the square root of two, square root of negative one. And region three, E to the pi I. 10 to the 100, 2 to the all of null, and region 4 is 666. We want to use this diagram here to determine the sets. So for letter A, 
we want A union B. So for A union B, it is just everything in A and also in B. So in region two, these elements here are both in A and B. We're just going to list this one once. So therefore, the regions in the Venn diagram that pertains to A union B are the regions one, two, and three. And these are the elements in those regions. So for its complement, for the complement, what does that mean? It means that the set of all elements in the universal set that are outside or not in the union, not in A union B. So we're referring actually to this region here, region 4, outside of the union. Now, this notation here is the intersection. The intersection of A and B is the set of all elements common to both A and B. So common to both A and B is this region here. The intersection of A and B is region 2. And the elements in that region is the square root of 2 and square root of negative 1. And for its complement, meaning it should be outside of that intersection, but is within the universal set. So we're referring to this region here, region one and region four. No, region three, because this is region two. We were looking for the complement of region two. Outside, complement of region two is outside of region two. And that is region one, region three, and region four. And these are the elements in those regions. The next, we want to find A complement intersection B. A complement, so outside of A in this Venn diagram here, outside of A is this region here. Now, then once you find complement of A, that's outside of A, then we want to find B. So B, intersection of B. So intersection common to set B. So the intersection of A complement and B is actually this region here. That is region 3. Now, next, we want to find all the elements of A union B prime. We're referring actually to the set of all elements in A or, because it's union, or not in B or both. So union, meaning you are just going to combine together. So when you say B prime, B prime pertains to the complement of B, this region here. That's a complement outside of B. Outside of B is the region 1 and 4. Set A, the regions for set A are 1 and 2. If you want, you can also write here for A, regions 1 and then 2. For complement of B, using this diagram here, the shaded area, that is 1 and 4. If we combine all of these regions together, but we will just have to list region I once, Therefore, the regions in that diagram are 1, 2, and 4. And these are the elements of those regions. Set operations and Venn diagrams provide precise ways of organizing, classifying, and describing the vast array of sets and subsets we encounter every day. Or refers to the union of sets. And the word and refers to the intersection of sets. To find the cardinal number of the union of two finite sets, we use this formula here. The cardinal number of A union B is just equal to the cardinal of A plus the cardinal of B minus the cardinal of A intersection B. Why do we do that? Well, because if you recall the union of two sets, so A union B, 
if you're just going to add all the elements in A and then plus all elements of B, you're actually counting the elements of this region or the intersection twice. Therefore, you need to subtract that once because if I'm going to add this, so I've counted this region here, plus this, then I would also have to count again this region here. That's why I need to subtract the cardinality of that region. So that's the formula. To illustrate this, let's look at this word problem here. Some of the results of the campus blood drive survey indicated that 490 students were willing to donate blood. 340 students were willing to help serve a free breakfast to blood donors, and 120 students were willing to do both. How many students were willing to donate blood or serve breakfast? So to answer this problem, we're going to use Venn diagram, and we're also going to remember that or represents union. So if we let set A be the number of donors and B be the set of all students who want to serve a breakfast, therefore A union B is the number of blood donors or serve or breakfast servers. And this is just equal to the number of blood donors plus the number of breakfast servers minus the number of students who want to be blood donors and also breakfast servers. Using this formula here, we have 490 plus 340 minus 120. And 490 plus 340 is 830 minus 120 is equal to 710.